We are going to begin, though, with the economic impact of COVID-19 on South Korea. The nation's economy in 2020 shrank on year due to the pandemic, posting negative growth for the first time since the height of the Asian financial crisis in the late 1990s. However, the government says the contraction was much smaller than other developed countries and strengthening exports paint a much rosier picture going into 2021. Kim Jae-hee starts us off. South Korea saw its worst economic performance in over two decades last year amid the COVID-19 pandemic. According to the Bank of Korea on Tuesday, South Korea's GDP shrank 1 percent in 2020 compared to the previous year. This is the first time the nation's economy has seen an on-year contraction since it shrank 5.1 percent during the IMF crisis in 1998. Last year's on-quarter GDP shrank 1.3 percent in the first quarter and 3.2 percent in the second quarter. But GDP then grew in the third and fourth quarters by 2.1 percent and 1.1 percent, respectively. The economic expansion in the fourth quarter came despite the third wave of the pandemic on the back of recovering exports. In the fourth quarter of last year, consumption and facilities investment contracted compared to the previous quarter, but exports continued to increase and construction investment expanded. Private consumption contracted by 1.7 percent on quarter in the fourth quarter as spending on restaurants, accommodation and transportation decreased amid the pandemic. But exports in the fourth quarter were up by 5.2 percent, mainly from increased exports of semiconductors and chemical products. Imports were also up 2.1 percent thanks to increased imports of machinery and equipment. Finance Minister Hong nam -gi said on Tuesday that South Korea's economic contraction is much smaller than other developed countries. He also said the recovery in exports has led to the expansion of facilities investment, raising expectations of further economic recovery. But he raised concerns over sluggish consumption and stressed that the utmost priority is stopping the spread of COVID-19 so economic activities can get back to normal. Kim Jae-hee, Arirang News.